Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspies uh, Hit Parade High-End Multi-Sport 7-Box Mixer number 2. Uh, two boxes of the Jaspi uh, exclusive, Hit Parade Jaspi collab exclusive, whatever you want to call it, baseball, two boxes of the football. We got Diamond Edition Helmet, uh, Series 1, which should be pretty awesome. We've got a, got a Sapphire Edition box right here, all license edition. And then we've got a, got a little uh, Pop, Funko Pop right here as well. So a lot of fun stuff in this. We comboed up some football teams. So there they are. Big thanks to this group for getting in on the action. Congrats to the people who won their spots. Remember, all of you will be part of the break credit promo if we fill up all those breaks by tomorrow night. Check the website for details. There are the combos right there. Uh, Browns, Commanders, Buccaneers, Titans, and all 30 baseball teams are in. Let's roll it. Randomize names and teams. Three and a six, nine times each. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. After nine, we got Lucas down to Eugene. So we'll put your names in the NFL list and the MLB list in the first column. Let's go back here. Three and a six, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Saints down to Panthers. And then three and a six for the baseball teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Tigers down to Rangers here in the baseball section. All right, let's take a look at the football section really quick. All right, so there's the first half of the list right there. And the second half of the list right over here. Obviously, you can pause the video if you want to keep track of your teams. I'm going to alphabetize in just a second. Um, just remember to make sure you're co you come back live to the live part of the stream if you're watching live. All right, now let's alphabetize by your first name or uh, by first team names. There you go. And if you want to trade, you got to trade. You can't trade a football team for a baseball team, for example. You got to trade within the within the sport. All right. So for baseball, here's the first half of the list right there, and second half of the list right over here. Alan Matsui has my Dodgers. All right, there you go. So I'm gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the seven box break. So stick around, be right back. All right, welcome back everybody. No deals were done, so our lists remain the same. Here's the uh, the baseball list for Random Team 2 on a Chew Tuesday. Could be some train whistles in this break. Thank you. I guess I'll just set these over here. Here's the NFL list, right over there. Thanks everyone for getting in. That, that that's interesting too. Luis Robert, but he's never healthy, right? Like that's always the issue. So do we do the Dodgers roll out? Chris Taylor, a healthy Chris Taylor hitting 100, or be able to use Luis Robert, you know, a quarter of the time. All right, let's do some football first. And we got a nice graded card here, PSA 10, Rome Adunze. From 2023, Bowman University Best, PSA 10, 42 out of 50. He went to Chicago? Is he with the Bears?
He is with the Bears. All right, so Chicago Bears, that's going to be for Alan Matsui. That's a, that's a pretty great wide receiver room there. Rex would pass on Luis Robert. All right. Yeah, the injury history is, is a concern. All right. Next up, next football card is Justin Jefferson. Nice rookie, Justin Jefferson. Jersey and autograph, 270 out of 299. I'm sure Vikings fans are happy that, that he's gonna stick around for a little bit. That's gonna go to Jeremy. Come on, Rex, be respectful. That's how he, that's how he wants to pronounce his name. That's how we're gonna pronounce it, Luis Robert. I guess, who are you to say what the correct pronunciation is, Rex? All right, next is baseball. We've got, we've got poor Ronald Acuna Jr. Poor guy. But hopefully he bounce, bounces back strong. It's a one of one though. That's nice on a true Tuesday. Tristan got randomized the Braves. Tristan, happy Chew Tuesday. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice. Love to see that. All right, one more of these little Hit Parade Jaspie collab. pronounced Kettle Marte, or it's Cattell Marte, right? That's how he wants it pronounced. And of course, Rex, of course, is, is a linguist, knowledgeable about so many different languages that he knows what the right way and the wrong way to say names are based on their different cultures and countries and accents. Rex the expert. Woo! Nice. Jordan Alvarez, three color patch, silver ink autograph, two out of three. Nice spark of light autograph, luminaries. That's gonna be for Nick Stober. Nick and the Astros on a Choo Tuesday. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Oh, people say Kettle Marte? No, that can't be right. Usually baseball reference has a pronunciation guide for us. No, maybe they don't. Or Wikipedia, maybe? I was like, where are they playing already? I forgot. There, yeah. No, there's no pronunciation guide for, for Marte. We'd have to get a media guide. And I'll usually go by whatever the Diamondbacks... Uh, oh, what are they saying? You don't say the name Cattell? No, Rex Rex is like Luis Robert says his last name wrong because, you know, well, at first Rex, Rex knows saying, about language. Everyone was saying that. Remember in the beginning, that was the controversy. Was like, everyone was calling him Robert because, you know. But that's almost French, though. And then, like, no, He's like Dominican, Robert, isn't he? You know, so. Some people don't care if they mess up and some people. No, but he came out and said it. 
him and he, he said himself what it, what it was. All right, so this is all license edition. Whoa! Triple relic, triple auto, all Red Sox. Eight out of 18 from 2013 Triple Threads Baseball. Pedro Martinez, Nomar, and David Ortiz. That is strong. And that's Nick Stover. Nick with the Boston Red Sox. Nice. All right, next. I guess with Marte, I would just go by whatever the, because the Diamondbacks announcers would have his, would have his uh, pronunciation guide for the media guide, so. All right, what do we got here? Good luck, everybody. I think I've, I've watched some Diamond Bag. I think it's Cattell. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, Kettle One, Cattell Marte. Thank, thank you, Oliver. All right. This is a nice one. It is Mike Evans. I think these are really these are really cool. You got the little Mike Evans Funko Pop doll in there. You got his autograph on the box. You got a case for the box. Pretty nice. And that's going to be for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Buccaneers Titans combo, Alan Murdoch. There you go, Alan. All right, and let's play a little Who Am I? What's up, Daniel? Panthers or Oilers? Uh, uh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, the Oilers, I suppose. I would have to go by my old playoff rule where I would want the team that knocked out my team to win it all. So that way I can say, oh, well, at least at least the LA King got knocked out by the team that eventually won the Stanley Cup. And I guess, I guess uh, McDavid winning the, uh, McDavid winning the Stanley Cup would be good for the hobby, right? All right, let's play a little bit of Who Am I? Gentry's thinking Tyreek. No, it is a retired player. Retired player. Uh, retired, uh, retired uh, defensive player, retired linebacker. Uh, I guess my playing weight and height, 6'4", 258, was a former first round pick, a top 10 pick, played for one team my entire career, an NFL defensive player of the year, an NFL defensive rookie of the year, a four time first team all pro, eight time pro bowler, an NFL solo tackles leader, part of the NFL 2000s All-Decade team, PFWA All-Rookie team, 100 greatest this team of all time. Uh, ended my career with uh, 1,361 tackles, 41 and a half sacks, 22 interceptions, two touchdowns, 78 pass deflections. Hall of Famer, obviously. Not Lawrence Taylor, not Ed Reed, not J.J. Watt. Uh, kind of went to, I guess, to me, uh, kind of a random college. Went to New Mexico. Not Joe Jaspi. I'm a little short of 41 and a half sacks. Uh, a defensive player, Duncan. Defensive retired player. None of the Kelseys are on defense. 
None of the Kelsey's have 40. They, Kel, the Kelsey's wish they had 41 sacks. Gentry's got a nice one, Gentry. Brian Erlocker. Classic bear. Ooh, look at this helmet. This is a cool looking helmet. It's a camo helmet. Nice, big Bears logo right there. There's his white ink autograph, Hall of Fame inscription, number inscription right there, number 54. So this is a replica helmet. I think we've seen some that were actual actual helmet helmets, but this one's a replica, but a really cool design though. The, the grill right here, it's, uh, it's hard to tell on camera, I think, but it's more of a navy blue, not, not black. There you go, Chicago Bears. That's gonna be... Alan Matsui with the Chicago Bears. Congrats, really sweet helmet right here. Yeah, New Mexico, I, I figured that the unique college would give it away. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching, thanks for breaking with me. He majored in criminology, by the way, Erlocker, according to the Wikipedia page. Um, this group right here, you're part of the promo. We got one more break to go. That's also part of the promo. That might be the last configuration of these mixers too. Already in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.